Well, hello, everybody. I'm Ray Nard, and this is my beautiful, lovely wife. Tracy. Baby love. Yes, that's All right. Me. Today, we're going to do Romans chapter 8, verses, uh, verse 3, we're going to concentrate, but I'm going to read mm. verse 1, 2, and 3. Mm. It says, there, I'm going to read it from the King James, baby love, we're going to do it from classic. the classic. We do that in case somebody's new, first time coming in. Some of you been with us, well, good. You know the repetition, mm-hmm. so here we go. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Therefore, there is now no condemnation, no adjudging guilty of wrong for those who are in Christ Jesus, who live and walk not after the dictates of the flesh, but after the dictates of the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life, which is in Christ Jesus, the law of our new being, has freed me from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law could not do, its power being weakened by the flesh, the entire nature of man without the Holy Spirit, sending his own son in the guise of sinful flesh And as an offering for sin, God condemned sin in the flesh, subdued, overcame, deprived it of its power over all who accept that sacrifice. Okay, man, go go ahead and finish reading verse four. I want to put four and three together here. Okay. Read verse four, So that the righteous and just requirement of the law might be fully met in us who live and move not in the ways of the flesh, but in the ways of the spirit. Our lives governed not by the standards and according to the dictates of the flesh, but controlled by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, the reason I wanted to do it, I just felt like that was not a good place to stop. I'm going to read three and four in the King James says, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through faith. See, the law was weak through faith. God sent in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mm. And that's why I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to end like that. Yeah. And and if you go down, see, you see at verse four, it says in the Amplified Classic, mm-hmm. what it says, so that the righteous and, and the just requirement, requirement of the Lord, Lord might be fully met in us. Okay, in us. Who live and move, not in the ways of the flesh. There you go, but what? But in the ways of the spirit. Our Our lives. lives Governed not by the standards and according to the dictates of the flesh, but controlled by the Holy Spirit. Controlled by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why God did all of this. That's one of the main reasons. See, he had to get rid of that flesh nature. Mm -hmm. And the Mm -hmm. only way Jesus Jesus coming, he paid the price going on that cross. So now what? The Holy Spirit can come in and we can be led by the Spirit of God Mm -hmm. instead of letting our flesh rule us. Because remember, who was it? Was it uh, Jeremiah said, in this flesh? Mm, dwells no, no good, good thing, thing. Mm-hmm. no matter what you did see that's why in the old testament i, I, I like to call it the old covenant because you know the old testament people think it's no well, more that good. is the law and that's what he's right. talking about right that's There's right the law of sin they and couldn't do it that's why jesus had to come and then what what i think is in uh help me lord jesus is it first first second corinthians 5 and 21 it says he who knew no sin mm, became sin came were made sin became sin for us or what we can be mm-hmm. made the righteousness of god in him only through the shed blood of jesus christ mm-hmm. could you and i be made righteous mm. And that's what this is here is talking about. No matter what laws, no, you, you try to sacrifice animals, you couldn't do it. Mm. We couldn't do it. And this is why, man, I tell you, you, you think about what God did just to get man back to himself. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's so important. That's why the Bible tells us don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm. He's no, what does person. that mean? Don't grieve. Don't, don't, don't grieve. Don't make him feel bad oh, okay. or to make him mm-hmm. feel sad. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like me not paying attention to you. Or mm-hmm. if you, you got on something, you said, how do I look? And I said, oh, okay. Well, you said, what shoe? I said, oh, the right one. And you said, you don't have one on that foot because mm-hmm. I ain't paying attention or something. Mm-hmm. You know? And so what to do? That grieves you. That grieves a person. That's what God says about the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. God said, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. See? But, and, and this is why. Because God want us 
not to be controlled by the flesh, mm -hmm. but by the spirit. And that word controlled is a kind of because God doesn't control the spirit no. of God. He's a gentleman. Mm -hmm. He wants to be wanted. Right. The spirit of God. He's mm -hmm. in us, but he, well, he gives wants. us free will. He's not going to do anything. That's right. You know, he's like, oh, God will do it. If he wants me to have it, he'll do it. And it's like, mm, no. No. The Holy Spirit is the greatest mm -hmm. of gentlemen. He's the, mm -hmm. he's the gentleman of all gentlemen. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he don't so push nothing on it. Huh? He might give you an unction. Right. Yeah. You know, yep, yep, yep. yeah. urge. Yeah. Or yeah. he might give you a little push, mm -hmm. but he ain't going to make you do anything. Right. Right. He, he'll get our attention. Mm -hmm. So, praise God. That's why I wanted to read both of them. Okay. Because uh, we walk not after the flesh, mm -hmm. but after the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, you want to say anything else? Goodbye. Okay, well, goodbye. Love y'all. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>